In this video, I'm going to show you how you can allow students to register on your Lifter LMS website without enrolling in a course or membership. By default with Lifter LMS, it's going to ask for you to have students enroll in an access plan, but here we can actually set something up so students can come register without enrolling in a course. They can get an account and uh, be enrolled that way, or they can enroll in courses after that. This is Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Let's dive into it. So if we head to the student dashboard page, and we're logged out by default, it's going to show me just a simple login form here. So if I hit here, I just have this email password. But what we can do, if I close out of these windows here, I can enable the ability for people to actually come to that page and sign up for account if they don't already have one. So you can either log in if you already are a user or you can sign up for an account. And you can head to Lifter LMS, settings on the top, and then we're going to head to accounts here in the middle. And once we are under Lifter LMS settings accounts, uh, I'm going to scroll down this page here. We want to find open registration as a feature here. Yep, there it is. O allow registration on the account page uh, without enrolling in a course or membership. That's exactly what we're looking for. So now if I go back to my dashboard page, and of course, if I'm logged out, I can see if I don't already have an account to log in with, I can go ahead and sign up for an account. Let me purge my website cache real quick here. All right, there we go. Sometimes when you make changes on your website, you have to flush the cache in order to uh, you know, update things and make sure that we have the latest version of what we're looking at. So there's a login form here. I can either log in or register for an account. And these registration fields are determined on this Lifter LMS settings accounts page here. All right here, I can say first name, last name is required, address is optional, and phone number is hidden. You can see that reflected right here. And if I wanted to require maybe a voucher code and then hide maybe the address, that would be a way for you. If you're doing maybe internal training, you could allow people to uh, sign up via voucher codes uh, for your internal training platform. So if you want to register, you have your email, password, name, and a voucher code, and you can sign up uh, that way. Or you could disable the voucher code entirely and just have people be able to sign up for your website without having to enroll in a specific course or membership. So that's by default how Lifter LMS does it. It's going to be right here on the dashboard page. But if you wanted to break this up and say, I want the dashboard page just to be my login and I want to put this registration form somewhere else, you can do that. Uh, you would do that by heading uh, to these Lifter LMS settings accounts here. And we're actually going to turn off that open registration feature. So we're not going to allow for registration on the dashboard page. So if I reload here, of course, have to flush my cache. Oh, there we go. It's taking a second here. Um, I keep uh, making changes and trying to reload and it's just not seeing them, but there we go. So now I've removed the registration from my login page, but I want to put it somewhere else. Maybe I want to have another separate registration page. You can easily do that if you go to pages, add new, and we'll just call this page registration. Here we go. We'll just call it register for now. And if you head to lifterlms.com forward slash shortcodes, you'll find the documentation here that has all of these useful Lifter LMS shortcodes for various pieces of Lifter LMS, like the Mark Complete button on courses. There's all sorts of pieces of Lifter LMS here, but all the way at the bottom of this page, there is a registration shortcode. It's simply Lifter LMS underscore registration in these brackets. So if I copy that shortcode and come back over to my WordPress and look up the shortcode block, because I want to put a shortcode on my website, and then publish my page here. Now I'll have the option for people to come to this web page and register if they don't already have an account. So here on my dashboard, I don't have the option to register, but if you go to forward slash register on my website, you'll have that registration form available for you uh, to sign up. And so that kind of cuts the pages apart and gives you two separate pages. Now, if you view this page and you're logged in, it might be a little bit confusing because what you'll see is just a blank page. And that's because WordPress already knows I'm registered. So you might want to put a button on here that says something like, if you already have an account, log in here. So if I were to say, if you already have an account, log in here, I want to go to color settings, text color white, update. 
and then view page. That's going to make it a little bit less confusing if uh, somebody happens to be logged in and they head to this register page, they'll have this link and you'll want to link this button up over to the dashboard page. But uh, that's kind of how you can create a flow if you wanted to break it up between two pages to have one registration page and one login page, or if you wanted to create the setup where you would have both on the same page, you could do that as well. So then of course, with the register page here, you can put it on your menu, you could put it in the footer, you could link to uh, the page from anywhere you wanted on your WordPress install, however you wanted to use that. But that's so you can have the registration page on the dashboard or on two separate pages. This has been Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Thanks for joining me in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.